12 News at 10 starts right now. Good evening. We begin with new details tonight in a terrible situation that police are now calling a murder suicide. It happened at a convenience store in Phoenix near 19th Avenue and Bethany Home Road. Investigators believe the suspect walked into the store, shot and killed a man behind the counter, and then turned the gun on himself in the parking lot. Obviously, there are a lot of unanswered questions tonight about this senseless act of violence. Team 12's Adriana Loya is joining us live from the scene. And what are we learning tonight from police? Well, Mark and Caribe, the motive is still unclear at this hour. And as you can see, detectives are still here on scene right now investigating, trying to get to the bottom of what happened. We spoke to a witness who tells us he had an interaction with the suspect about 30 minutes before police say he killed the store employee. A convenience store and gas station turned into a crime scene Wednesday night. Phoenix police responding to a double deadly shooting near 19th Avenue and Bethany Home Road. I've never seen something like that. Officers arriving at the business around 4.30 in the afternoon. Inside, they say they found a store clerk shot dead. Later learning, the suspect had walked a short distance and turned the gun on himself. I couldn't believe it happened. You know, it's like, why did he do it? Ramon Isvala says he watched it all unfold. He works at the auto repair shop just feet away. He says the suspect had come up to him 30 minutes before the shooting and claimed he owned this white truck. I already knew off the bat that he's not the owner of the truck. After a brief conversation, Ramon says he told the man to leave. He walked near the gas station and says he saw him do drugs before going into the convenience store. Not even about 10 minutes, came back out, walked up off that step there and shot himself. Ramon says he frequents the convenience store and knows the employee that was killed. He was very nice. I was kidding around. We would call him hippie because he looked like a hippie. Hours after the shooting, still shaking up, wondering what if the suspect had reacted differently with him. Yeah, what if he would have pulled the gun out on us? You know, he could have did that to us. We did not. We wouldn't know because I didn't know he had a gun. No. It's scary. It is very scary. Now, the suspect or the victim have not been identified at this hour. Again, it's still unclear what led up to the shooting. We're live in Phoenix. Adriana Loya, 12 News. Adriana, thanks. New at 10, a warning.